State regulations require that a complete evaluation be performed once every three years for gravity systems and once a year for all other systems. In addition, many counties, such as the 12 Puget Sound counties, may have designated areas with increased requirements to protect shellfish. Also, when a property is sold or transferred, an inspection may be required to ensure the system is operating properly. You'll want to hire a licensed professional to perform these inspections. In some counties, homeowners can become certified to inspect their own system. When you hire someone to pump your tank, make sure to hire only a licensed pumper. They should pump all the tank's contents and inspect tanks to make sure there are no leaks and that everything's working well. But remember, pumping your tank is not the same as having a certified system inspection. How often should you pump your system's tanks? It depends on your tank size, number of people in your home, and your water use. Generally speaking, you should pump it every three to seven years. There are many types of potential repairs that will be needed to keep your system operating. They can include replacing broken baffles, repairing broken transport lines, balancing your D-box, replacing pumps, and much more. If repairs are not performed in a timely manner, the system could fail. Symptoms of a failing system can include sewage surfacing over the tanks or drain field, slow drains, or sewage backing up into the home. If you see any of these problems, contact a professional and your local health department immediately. Sometimes systems can be saved from having to be replaced. One way health departments detect a failing system is by using liquid tracing dye. The dye is poured into a toilet and flushed into the system. If the system is failing, the dye may surface onto the lawn or nearby waterways. This photo shows the dye from a failing septic system near a marine water body. By correcting small problems when needed, you prevent larger and more costly problems. If you do have a problem or failure with your system, there is financial aid available. The United States Department of Agriculture is one source of funding available for septic system repairs. Contact your local health department for other resources available to you. I hope the information in this course has been helpful. Thank you for your time, and remember, as you responsibly operate and maintain your septic system, you're protecting the public health, the environment, and your pocketbook. Hope to see you in Septics 201. We would like to thank the following for their time, effort, and technical input for this course content. This presentation was made possible by a grant from the Washington State Department of Health.